Alrighty, welcome back. Um, so today we're back with another episode of, you know, making the Jarvis program. I really don't know if it would be called an episode, but I keep referring to it as an episode. Um, so we're here on the main program. This is what we did last time. We just implemented some short if, sta- if, 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 and if else statements, um, using the random, um, choice from to get different responses each time um and then in the previous two episodes we we made the speech recognition which allows you to get uh your wi-fi if you have it it'll do one thing if you don't it'll do a different one and then also the speech or text to speech where it'll say the stuff back to you over here it gets your command then it finds out what if you said some you know one of these keywords in there it has a random response, and then it speaks the response back to you. One thing I didn't go over in that um, video was if you wanted to have a um, wake word, like, you know, for Siri, it's, you know, hey Siri, for Google, it's like, okay Google. What you would do is you would just say uh, the command equals speech recognition, you'll just say if, you know, we'll say Jarvis is in command. Then you would run all this. But I don't care about that. It don't bother me. So today, we're going to be trying to implement Wolfram Alpha. Um, for you, y'all who don't know, Wolfram Alpha is a very good website when it comes to um, searching up stuff and getting answers like complex math problems, stuff like that. So for today, that's what we're going to be working on. So we're going to be coding that into the help file and to start, we'll actually start with Google. You're going to need to go to Google, go to Wolfram Alpha, make yourself an account, and then get to your developer page here. Um, as you can see, developer.wolframalpha.com slash portal slash my apps. Let me increase the size just a little bit to make sure it's plenty big enough. All right, so we're gonna to need to get an app ID, um, application name. We'll just name it Jarvis Eight. Short description. Um, ability to use with Jarvis. Yeah, that probably makes no sense. Whatever. We click get, and then it gives you your app ID. So. By the time anyone else looks, I'm going to have gotten rid of this. So, we're just going to come in here, and I'm just going to put it in a comment for now. So now, cmd, open up a command prompt, python, minus m, pip pip install... I believe it's Wolf Ram Alpha. Oh, see, I don't even have this one downloaded. Anywho, now it's installed. But all right, once it's installed, we are ready to go. So we're going to import it. So import. Come on. Wolf Ram Alpha. We'll scroll down here. I'll place it right below that. It won't hurt. New definition, we're going to call it um, uh, Wolfram Alpha. Ram Alpha. And we're going to do, let's see, we'll pass in text again. Alright, so now we need to do a try statement because if you don't have internet, It'll get throw up an ant uh, an error. So here we need your app ID, which is that value you just copied from mine. That is this, and that's a string. Um, I don't know how to do OS stuff. Um, people recommend putting like secure data in your OS system. I don't know how to do that yet. I'll learn it eventually. I just hard code it for now. So, um, next, you need to do client. 
client equals, and then it's Wolfram Alpha. Not that one. Wolfram Alpha. All lowercase. Dot capital C, and it's client. You're going to pass in your app ID. Next, we need res, which is your results. And that's going to equal clients dot query and the text that you gave it. And then, so this is actually going to re return a huge jumble of like charts and all kinds of stuff. But we only really want the text from that. I'm um, just double checking something. Okay, just double checked. All right, so your answer, which is whatever you want them to say to you, equals next res, which is the results from there. Results dot text. Let me have if versus sorry, I don't need that if. This is like I said, I'm working off an older program and I had another source of input, so it was if that input and do this. Uh, so now we can just do speak. And for this one, you don't have to pass in the Jarvis help file, you can just go straight from there and it'll be answer. And then we can our accept and um. For this, I want to go ahead and steal this from earlier and try pinging it. So we have a try inside our try and accept. And I'll explain why here in just a second. And it's just personal preference really. So we're going to say, so, sorry, but I couldn't find an answer for for that. Maybe try re Phrasing it. And then our accept will be speak. Sorry, but we or I can't access the internet. All right, so now to walk you through here. Save. So we have a try loop or a try accept clause. So it's going to try, you know, you have your API ID and your client. So it's going to send in this text as a query, which means it's just asking Wolfram Alpha, whatever you give it. Answer equals the text from it. And it's going to speak the answer. The accept would say if something goes wrong here, we don't know what. So... We gave it, a, I'm giving it another try. And then these three little lines of code right here just says um, ping Google. If you get Google, that means I have internet. So that's not my problem. So that means it's probably something wrong with what I said. So that's why I have it say, sorry, I couldn't find an answer to that. Just maybe try rephrasing it. If it can't get to Google, that means that we don't have internet. So it says, sorry, but I can't, can't not can, I can't access the internet. All right, so we're gonna come over here and um, I've done many loops where I could be like, hey, um, one of them I did was if you ask it to help with homework, it would start a second loop inside this one where it would only run and all it would say is, uh, 
what do you need answered? And then you would say whatever, and it would search that, and it would respond. And it would say, what do you need answered? Until you finally say stop, and it would break back out. That's up to you. I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do another else if, and we're going to do who, command, or what, in command, or, or when in command you might be able to see where i'm going or why in command who what when where is the next one or where so who what when where why the only one we're missing is how how gives me a few problems which is why i'm leaving out and we're going to run Jarvis help file dot Wolfram alpha. We're gonna pass in command. No, that's not what I said. Command. So what it says is same as before. Whatever you say, which is stored as command. If any of the words who, what, when, where, why are there, then it's gonna run this line. The difference is, for example, your name. You say what is your name? This will run first. Always put this code we just made at the bottom. It just runs best that way. So let's give it a try. Um, let me actually get something to ask it. When did World War I end? We'll say that. When did World War I end? There you go. What is the capital of Dubai? Dayton not available. Um, I think that is the capital. What is the capital of China? Hello. Oh, see that through a problem. The capital of China. Okay. Let's try running again. What is the capital of China? So you can see Bangkok, there's, Thailand. There's a few problems with uh, the recognizers. It'd be best if you code your own. Uh, I'm not going to code my own. I haven't had luck with that. But it does allow you to search up stuff like that. Um, some more complicated stuff would be like um, here we go. What is log base e to the x? Sorry, but I couldn't find an answer for that. Maybe no. try rephrasing it. What is the derivative of 1 over x? d slash dx 1 slash x equals dash 1 slash x caret 2. So, it can give you math problems. That's the main thing that I use it for. But, all right. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it for now. Um, I think... Let's see. I want to figure out what I'm going to do for the next clip. I mean, I have an idea. Um, so, for the next few episodes i think i'm going to be coding a um application that is like this one that's like this uh this is a very complicated file maybe not um, well, why are you giving me problems now? JPG. We'll see if I can fix this really quick. Okay, maybe not. I did not click Walmart. Go away. 
try it one more time. Maybe you'll go through. Nope. Um, let's go to uh, it? control click. There we go. That's not. What is this? No, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. This one. If I open, uh, it's fine. Just. He goes nothing. Okay. Let's see if it'll run now. It might still give me problems. Yeah, it's gonna give me so many problems. This is not what I wanted to be dealing with right now. I think I'll be remaking this soon. That's not what I wanted to click. Okay, let's just... Might as well just get rid of that too. I'm sorry, this is not based on what we're supposed to be doing right now. I haven't had problems with this. I think I just have to update the file, but I'm not updating that right now. That'll take so long. run now okay so this is it finally i was coding pretty much my own data what's a good example os operating system um the idea is you'd be able to do whatever so like i can connect to the internet probably not actually it's probably throwing up an error because yep can't get to images um but you were able to do stuff here maybe okay so i can still open the calculator this is hand coded. Uh, or like the volume bar, you can open that up and change it. And that actually will affect the volume. You can also come over here and change stuff. I'm not actually gonna sign, sign in. But you sign in to access specific stuff to your account. Um, so we'll probably be doing that here soon because the idea is um, you'd be able to tell Jarvis, you know, I got homework to work on, he would open it up for you. So, we'll try starting some of this um, in the next episode. Um, until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.